My name is Michael Durko. Um, and I am going to be presenting uh, Municipal Wheel Taxes. And the purpose of my presentation, firstly, is to address what a municipal wheel tax is, and then more importantly, how they affect you um, as a citizen and consumer. Um, so a little bit about me. Um, I work for the city of Rice Lake, and Rice Lake is a municipality in Barron County um, that serves roughly around 9,000 people. And what I do for the city of Rice Lake is essentially I handle um, special research projects in the city administrator's office. And one of those projects um, is discovering our municipal wheel taxes and how they integrate with our municipalities. Um, why this is a current event is because the city of Rice Lake is actually um, featuring a structural deficit this year. Um, I should say this coming budget year, so it would be 2019. Um, and one of the ways that we're working on solving that deficit is by implementing a municipal wheel tax. So let's address the first uh, primary idea to this, and that's to define what a wheel tax is. Um, so essentially a wheel tax is just a fee that's placed on and or in addition to your normal vehicle registration fee. So your base registration fee is typically about $75, um, and a wheel tax is essentially a surcharge or a service fee um, that's placed on, on top of that that goes back to the municipality in which the vehicle resides in. Um, so essentially, it has nothing to do with wheels whatsoever. <laughs> it's just a very generalized name um, for the fee. And that's from the Wisconsin Department of Transportation. Um, so we'll move on here and talk about you know, what vehicles apply to that. And so primarily, it applies to most automobiles um, and then trucks under 8,000 pounds. So in general, lots of cars. Um, and how many? Um, there's quite a few, and we'll jump to that shortly, but we first need to understand how much do these fees generally cost. Um, throughout the state, these fees tend to run anywhere from $10 all the way up to $30, and once again, that's in addition to your $75 base registration fee. So we're talking as high as $105 in total. Um, but you can see that there's a very small percentage of municipalities that have a wheel tax that high, um, and the average is about you know, $20 with 80% of municipalities having that tax in place. So jumping back to how many people that affects, that affects uh, 4.782 million vehicles in the state of Wisconsin alone. Um, and when you take those vehicles and you park them end to end, they essentially follow the whole perimeter of 48 uh, contiguous United States um, one and a half times. And that's just in our state alone. Um, so that's quite a few cars by comparison. Um, so Essentially, what that does is um, the municipalities, once they receive the tax money, they're able to use that for transportation um, uses only by state statute, so that way we aren't taking advantage of your money. Um, and we'll explain why, why that's important to you and how that affects you in this next section. Um, so more importantly, what that does is essentially it allows you to have better roads because it's only able to be used for transportation type fees. Um, but we'll break it down a little bit further. So by that, um, municipalities have several funds, um, and that's where they kind of structure their funding and bank accounts. So let's say you have two savings accounts or a saving and a checking account. Essentially, if you use your checking account um, for only groceries and you use your savings account for just primarily storing money, you might be transferring money from your savings account over to your checking account so you can purchase those groceries. Well, here's the benefit of having that wheel tax. What that does is that takes place of the money that you're transferring from your savings account. Therefore, the money that's used for the wheel tax is doing the job of the money you were initially transferring, but now you can also put the money in a different place um, to be able to help you know, uh, fix things like structural deficits among your different funds. Um, the other thing it does, unfortunately, is it does increase your registration fees. Um, like I said, registration fees with the wheel tax can get up to as uh, high as $105. Um, and of course, that's with that $30 tax fee um, and whatnot throughout the state. But the interesting part is, how can you avoid the wheel tax? I think that's what's probably important to all of us. Um, so if you have any of these charming plates, um, you can avoid the wheel tax. So if you have a car that's an antique, a collector car, if you have the Medal of Honor, um, if you have a historic military vehicle, or an ex-prisoner of war um, plate, or even a hobbyist plate, then you are exempt from that wheel tax. Um, so if you have a vehicle that qualifies for that, I would highly recommend that you get one of those plates, so you can save yourself some money in the long run. Um, and to conclude, we've discussed what a wheel tax is, um, the price of a wheel tax, uh, how people are affected by that wheel tax, and more importantly, how you can avoid it. Thank you.